welcome you to South Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to introduce to you Prof Barry and Prof Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. And uh, then it will be interesting to see what is the equity profile on that. Because again, it's the involvement of humanity. So it will be, a, it's interesting, and thanks for your response on that one. Dr. Tarani? Prof. Barry, how would the geopolitics of the world be if, say, 60% or 70% of the leaders were female? I'd say a bit more equal. I think that women would have more jurisdiction and maybe even the the kind of sex equity thing or this kind of racism would start to go against men. But I think that it would be definitely more equal. Uh, it would be a definitely sort of more equal world if 60 or 70 percent of the leaders were women. Uh, I, in terms of um, um, sex uh, equality, I think that that would be a lot issue that would be less touched on. It would be such a small issue that even the Vinci uh, discussed wouldn't touch on it. I'd say, but I think that <clears throat> I think that uh, and maybe this kind of racial issue would go against. Uh, maybe this kind of sexual issue or gender issue would go against men instead. Because while well, if uh, the majority is a, a woman, then of course there will be this kind of jurisdiction of women over men and maybe this kind of thing will turn the tables uh, but uh, of course neither kind of uh, thing is good I don't uh, I don't see white supremacy is good uh, or black supremacy is good and I think that that thing is similar for the gender issue so maybe a, maybe it would be a better world if in those world leaders maybe it wouldn't be because there would be this kind of uh, thing against men I think that equality is the best thing not just the rise uh, the rise of a minority I think that equality is good for all especially here in South Africa I uh, honor the uh, I am honored to see this noble fight for equality and how the blacks didn't want to just get over the whites but blacks wanted uh, the whites to be equal in a rainbow nation to have this kind of not opposition but uh, family this kind of sort of friendship and I think that that kind of thing is important in uh, racial and gender uh, things as well so I think that that kind of, of equality is more important and if 60 or 70 percent of the leaders were women say then I think that you know that would maybe make that imbalance that would make that imbalance flipped but it would still be a very big imbalance